All right, today we're gonna to be talking about accessory after the fact. This is when you knew a felony happened and you helped in any way after it happened knowing that the felony happened. I'm gonna to get to the law in just a second. If Don't confuse this with conspiracy or accessory before the fact. If you want accessory before the fact, click the link above. All right, let's get into this one. 9715, accessory after the fact. Section one, every person who shall be convicted of having concealed, received, or relieved any felon, or having aided or assisted any felon, knowing that that person had committed a felon, with the intent to enable the felon to escape or to avoid arrest, trial, conviction, or punishment after the commission of the felony. On conviction thereof shall be imprisoned in the custody of the Department of Corrections as follows. If the felony was a violent crime, if the maximum punishment was life, death, or 20 years or more for a period not to exceed 20 years, or the maximum punishment for the violent felony was less than 20 years for a period not to exceed the maximum punishment. Okay, if, felon, if the felony was not a violent crime, if the maximum punishment of the nonviolent felony was 10 years or more for a period not to exceed 10 years, or... If the maximum punishment for the nonviolent felony was less than 10 years for a period not to exceed the maximum punishment. Okay, if you help somebody who has committed murder or anything like that, you could be facing up to 20 years in jail just by helping them. And if you lie to law enforcement, that's the same way. That's the same thing as hiding them out because you're hiding where he's at. If you know where they're at and they ask and they can prove, then you can be charged with this and could be facing up to 20 years. Not worth it. <clears throat> okay, for the purpose of this section, violent crime means homicide, robbery, manslaughter, sex crimes, burglary of an occupied dwelling, aggravated assault, kidnapping, Drive-by shooting, armed robbery, felonious abuse of a vulnerable person, felonious subject to an enhanced penalty, felony child abuse or exploitation, or any violation of Section 97.533 relating to exploitation, I mean, that's child crimes, Section 97.539.1b, 97.539.1c, or 97.539.2 relating to child neglect or abuse or section 63.11.35 relating to aggravated DUI. Third part of this is, if the prosecution of the offense under this section, it shall not be necessary to vary in the indictment or to prove on the trial that the principal has been convicted or tried, which means the person that you help, they have not made, they, they probably haven't even been to court yet. That doesn't mean that you can't be pulled in and found guilty, which that would be a pretty crappy thing if you get pulled in and found guilty of aiding and abetting or accessory after the fact, you're doing whatever this case may be. That person hasn't went to trial yet and by some chance that they get off, then here you are, you're in jail and they're out. It's not worth it. All right. What you need to do is hit the like button and subscribe. Come back for more.